Hi, I'm Matt Williamson, and today on Pop Goes the 60s, you're going to get an update on Mark Lewison's Volume 2 of his expansive Beatle biography, All These Years. Now, Mark has finally gotten into the 21st century here and is taken to social media. This is what he said on Twitter. Volume 2 of The Beatles, All These Years, is in the works. No one need worry about that. My website says more. So this tweet came out recently, but it was in regard to the coronavirus, and he wanted people to know that he was okay and busy working on the book. So here's what he says. He goes into more detail about Volume 2 on his website. Volume 2, words for those who ask. It will, won't be out this year. The book is happening. The book entails a lot of work. Tune in took 10 years to research and write before it came out in 2013. Volume 2 is taking longer. But projects like this take the time they need. The work must progress at its correct speed. I don't know when it'll be out, but when I do, I will announce it and you won't miss it. It won't be 2020, or in 2021, or in 2022. 2023, no promises, but it's possible. So I think some people are, are worried uh, that they're not going to live long enough to read Volume 2, let alone Volume 3. And um, But what, what a lot of people don't know is that when this did come out in 2013, um, I didn't know it was coming, so I wasn't waiting for it. So it just kind of appeared on the scene and I just devoured it. So having to wait 10 years for the second volume isn't very fun. Here's some of the feedback he's been getting. When's volume two coming out? <laughs> I would want to know what's going to come next and when it's coming, more to the point, when can I read this book? <clears throat> so I do get quite a lot of that. The interesting thing is that it started, to, it's, what is it now? It's four and a half years since Tunian was published. Just of late, it started to get a little bit more aggressive. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. I know that whenever, I, whenever I'm seen to be doing anything that is not 100%, as far as they're concerned, working on the book, <laughs> um, I get kind of slapped by a few people. What they don't know is that it's all book related. Okay, that was Mark speaking in 2018 about some of the aggression he's getting. And what some people don't realize is that he has been working on volumes two and three simultaneously. So with all these Beatle anniversaries the past few years, he's able to research both at the same time, which is just more efficient for him. Now, one of the things that um, a lot of people also don't understand in working on a project like this, which takes 30 years, is he is working double days. So he's putting in a work day that starts at 5 a.m. and goes to 9 p.m. It's a 16 hour day, which he does five days a week. And he's also working some weekends as well. So he's working upwards of 90 hours a week. So I don't know what more we can ask of the guy. People might say, people who don't understand, to be honest, uh, that the method of writing these books might say, what are you doing in 69? You should be writing volume two. <laughs> but every all, all my thoughts and all the things that I'm grabbing now because they're suddenly momentarily available because of the anniversary um, are in the 1969 folder. So when I do come to write about it, I've got them all and I've got all my thoughts and they're already processed and then I'll just more or less drop them in. So it's just saving time later to do it now. Another thing that's been taking Mark away from writing volume two is his work on the Hornsey Road project. This is a live uh, show that he's been doing to talk about the Beatles Abbey Road project, which had its 50th anniversary last year. And he's done 25 dates in the UK on this. And that's taken a little bit away from the writing, but he's doing this out of necessity. This is helping him fund the mission and continue work on the book. The reality of, of writing a very long and the All These Years series is a 30 plus year project for yeah. me is that um, when you write books, you get paid on a publication and on delivery of manuscript. So uh, the last check I had of any substance was on publication of Tune In, which okay. is now six years ago. Right. And my next check will be when I deliver the manuscript for volume two, which will be in the future. And I'm not, I don't know exactly <laughs> when, but quite some distance into the future. So it's just like, how on earth do I eat yeah. in the <laughs> okay. meantime? Yeah. And, and this is an attempt to basically uh, give me the money to carry on writing. And again, those who carp on about why it's not coming out, they just don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think that has fallen away? I mean, you, you, the carping that people are starting to appreciate? No. No, <laughs> it's still going. We're still putting no, you under pressure. But right? it is flattering. I mean, it's, mm. if, if it, you know, it's, it's nice to be talked about. And um, it, would be, it would be awful if I was spending all these years writing books that seemingly no one was waiting for. 
Um, mm. So that is very reassuring. But um, <laughs> mm, but sometimes the negative comments get I can down s- a I bit, can see it, your shoulders drop at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do a little bit. But I mean, maybe it, I shouldn't just shouldn't look. Well, so there you have it in Mark's own words. And, you know, for the life of me, I don't understand what these Beatle maniacs are complaining about. You know, after the anniversaries we've had the past few years, we had Sgt. Pepper three years ago, the box set of the White Album, Abbey Road last year. This year we're getting the new Let It Be movie by Peter Jackson, plus another box set of Let It Be. For those Beatle maniacs that really needed their fix, I mean, they can get that $360 Egypt Station by Paul McCartney, that ridiculous thing. You know, what is it that we want as Beatle maniacs? Here's what we want. We want more. And that's the first world problem that there ever was one, right? Well, that's all for right now. I'm going to continue with uh, future updates on Mark Lewison's work and how he's coming on the book. So stay tuned right here on Pop Goes the 60s. He wants more, don't you, Rocco? Yeah, that's it. More. That's right, I want more. Will you ever get enough? Will you, Rocco? Well, I never have. No, I guess I won't. <laughs> 